I'm bored, so I'm going to make a video. Ah! So, um, I'm vlogging today. Um, excited as can be. Because, um, there's certain something's going to be happening in the next two years that's going to be, um, it's going to be great. Yeah. Batman Superman movie! I never thought the words would come out of my mouth. Batman Superman. It was announced at Comic Con. Uh,. Two days ago, two days ago, Friday, at Comic Con, that um, the Man of Steel sequel is going to feature none other than the Cape Crusader, Batman. So yeah, that's good. Um, some guys just walking out, me seeing me talking to myself on camera, so probably like, what the hell is going on? But. But yeah, um, Zack Snyder came into Hall H at the end of the Warner Brothers panel and was like, So, listen, we are making another Superman movie, and everybody started freaking out, and he's like, But listen, there's this one thing that, you know, I can't really tell you about the movie, but I can tell you something that will give you a hint of what the movie will be about. And with that, Her um, Henry Lennox, I think it's Henry, no, it might be a Harry Lennox, Harry or Henry, I don't know his name, but uh, came out because his voice is much better than Zack's. And, um, he read a passage from The Dark Knight Returns, which, if any of you have read The Dark Knight Returns, you know that it's an aging Batman who has come out of retirement to kind of right the wrongs in Gotham. And at the end of, at the end of the story, the government sends Superman to stop Batman. And, um, what, um, what Lennox read was, I want you to remember, Clark, in all your years to come, in your most private moments, I want you to remember my hand at your throat. I want you to remember the one man who beat you. And with that, the place went black, the Superman logo swooshed onto the big screen, and behind it in black formed the new bat symbol. For what can I what I can only assume is the Batman, Justice League, the new, it's the new symbol that'll be used for marketing and all that stuff that's gonna be, and it's the old school bat symbol, that's what's so cool about it, they didn't make the, they just didn't just like rehash the one that Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher used, they definitely were gonna use the one that Christopher Nolan was using, which, that, that one's really cool, but uh, yeah, it was this symbol merged in with the bat symbol like you normally see in a world's fi in the world's finest comic book or any superman batman related crossover it was so awesome everybody screamed it was i wasn't there i watched it on youtube which makes me kind of lame because i'm just like rehashing everything and not even being there to like fully fully enjoy it but like the fact is it's superman and it's batman they've been talking about doing this movie since batman and robin in 1996 God, I hated that movie. Ah, uh, anyway, since that movie, and it was never made. And I always thought, why two of the bet, two of the greatest superheroes, not two of the greatest, two of t the two greatest superheroes of all time on the big screen, is one from a marketing standpoint and financially, it's a freaking like powerhouse of money. These, this symbol and the bat symbol together at Comic-Con alone just, like, made Warner Brothers millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Because you know, they made Warner Brothers and DC millions of dollars because you know as soon as that happened, people were rushing to, like, the nearest comic book store, buying up comics, buying up toys, trying to find anything that had that symbol. It, oh. And so I was just like, you know, and the story potential is great. A, a man who can do anything... Um, like, with his body and with his mind, Batman, the world's greatest detective, and Superman, an extraterrestrial being who can do anything, like, he can just do, he can lift cars with his hands, he can shoot lasers out of his eyes, and the conflict that the two of them can get into, or the conflict that the both of them can solve, in the comics is spectacular, and in film would be amazing, and I don't know why it's taken them 14 freaking years to make this movie. I can kind of understand why, I can, alright, I can kind of understand why it's like, you know, with when people decide, you know, they want to get down and dirty and realistic, they're like, oh, okay, Christopher Nolan, you're so good with Batman Begins, blah, 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 and then they weren't ever going to cross that universe over with anything. Then Man of Steel, everybody knew that Man of Steel was going to start a shared 
universe. And if you watch Man of Steel, you see Wayne, you see Wayne Enterprise's satellite that Superman and Zod destroy in space at the final battle. So it's like, you know, this. everybody knew as soon as Man of Steel was released that this was coming. Eventually it was going to come, but we weren't sure if we were going to get it after the Batman series had already started, and then, like, maybe a Justice League movie, and then maybe there would just be a solo movie with those two. But no, this is how Warner Brothers is doing it. They're, like, going the opposite way that um, Marvel has been going. And instead of introducing characters at the end of, like, their major... Like, instead of introducing characters at the end of each major film and then giving them their own film, like, at Iron Man you had Nick Fury, and Nick Fury branched off into, the, into Iron Man 2, and then The Avengers, which was ultimately his movie. And then Thor was at the end of Iron Man 2, The Hammer, and you got Thor. And then in Thor you had Clint Barton, Barton Hawkeye. And then, you know, Incredible Hulk, Robert Downey Jr. showed up. And, you know, all that stuff, just, like, to start the universe that way. Warner Brothers is going the complete op opposite direction and is saying, look, we're not going to surprise you with characters. These are the two characters you're going to see. These are the two that are going to start off what will eventually come as a Justice League movie, which, with my, which in my, like, infinite wisdom or prediction... Will probably come out Man of Steel, the Man of Steel, and it is a Man of Steel sequel. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be Batman and Superman. It's going to be all about them. I'm pretty sure it's still going to aim more towards Superman, which is great. That's that's how it should be because it is the Man of Steel sequel. But the way that it's going, I would assume that we can expect a Justice League movie by 2017, 2018, because the Man of Steel sequel will come out in 2015. On around the same time that Avengers Age of Ultron, which was also announced at Comic-Con, is going to come out, which I can see, you know, I thought when Dark Knight Rises, Avengers, Amazing Spider-Man came out in 2012, I thought that was the year for comic books, comic book movies. 2015 is definitely going to be our comic book year. Because just with something so big like that, you can't, it, it's not even, you can't top it. The Avengers can't even, like at this point, the Avengers can't even top it right now Batman and Superman are so they're Batman and Superman are infinitely more popular I'm so, in my opinion I'm just in my personal opinion Batman and Superman are infinitely more popular and they you know they are the originals they are the granddaddies of all superheroes and so to finally put them together on the big screen is going to be something that if done right is going to change everything it's going to change every, the way we look at comic books it's going to change the way we look at comic book film it's going to change the way we look at it's going to change the way we look at symbols like this. And so, that's just, that's what I was, that's what I was thinking. This is a long vlog. This is one of my longest vlogs. So, um, thank you. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, follow me on Twitter, JLY96. Find me on Facebook, Y2J Greatness. And, uh, also on my personal Facebook page, I uploaded the video from Comic-Con of Zack, of Zack Snyder basically unveiling what we'll be seeing in the next three years. So, going to be it's going to be amazing um so thank you for watching uh comments list them below share this video with your friends especially share the video with your friends that don't know about the whole which honestly everybody in the world probably knows about the batman superman movie now i just oh it's gonna be so good all right so i gotta go i gotta go get tyler so um have a good day and i will see you around